Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fireside Terra. I hope everyone's well. Um, yeah. I started the cycles for the second half of June today. I started to throw down cards for cancer and it was just some kind of weird soap opera wild goose chase poop show. And all the spirit guides were trying to talk at once and it's like, you know what guys, I can't do the noise today. So, cancer, if I'm too tired when I get home from my bread and butter job tonight. I will try to read you in the morning before I go in. I guarantee nothing because I have to get up very, very early. <laughs> so possibly tomorrow night when I get home, I know I want to cycle through all of the signs to the second half of June by the end of the day on Monday. So we will see what I can make happen. Anywho. For those of you who are new here and don't know how I do this, I go by the elements. If you do not know where your sun sign falls, as far as the elements go, I will shout them out at the beginning of every reading. We are in Gemini season. They are an air sign, so air signs will go first, then it will go to water, fire, earth. Okay? Same deal as a general zodiac sign reading. If it resonates, cool. If it doesn't, cool. Watch through to the end. Check your moon rising or Venus sign readings. If you don't know what those are, get your natal chart done. I encourage it. You find out a lot of cool things about yourself that you didn't already know. Or you find out why you are the way you are, and that's equally as cool. And that way you know what to transcend. Don't use it to make excuses. Please. Find out what you need to transcend about yourself so you can evolve as a soul. That's the point of that. Okay. Enough babbling. Air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Let's get you on the table. One more shuffle. Ten of Swords and the Page of Wands. That looks like a good weekend. The sun's going to start shining finally. Possible communication coming in with a fire sign. Um, might be some interesting communication, you know what I'm saying? Uh, of a certain nature that I won't shout out. Okay, why not? We're all adults. Well, at least we're all supposed to be adults of a sexual nature. Could be, but remember, you're still closing out a painful cycle. So, be careful with that. Might be a band-aid. You know how I feel about band-aids. Okay. Figure out where we were. Okay. Eight of Cups in the reverse and a Page of Cups. Someone returned with cute little messages of love. Hmm. Okay. Could have been a little bit ago. Could have been a lot of bit ago. Know what I'm saying? Hmm. One of those retrograde returns, maybe. Those typically don't work out. I apologize. Fast forward a little. Nine of Cups and the Page of Pentacles. Okay. Emotional fulfillment. That's awesome. Page of Pentacles, it's three pages. Okay, so emotional fulfillment and the offer of stability comes in. Okay. Hmm. Oh. Taking it to the next level, perhaps? Maybe. Why is that Ten of Swords there? I'm wondering now. Come in this weekend. Oh boy. The moon and the nine of pentacles. Skewed perceptions, things possibly being blown out of proportion. Smoke and mirrors, lies and deception, all that not so happy jazz. Coming out of a painful cycle. It's the lizard. It's the lizard card. That little lizard's a red flag. 
by the way. Can you see the lizard? There, there's a little bit of the glare there. The cat saying, come follow me, and the page is like, you know what, there's a lizard there. I don't know if I should move forward with this. I think that red flag has something to do with this moon card. Lies, deception. How strong is that offer? The conclusion being the Nine of Pentacles. I think I'm good energy. Oh, let's throw a clarifier on it real quick. Why isn't, you know what, why is the moon card here? That's a more interesting question. Page of Swords. Oh, that's even better. That's smoke and mirrors and things not being communicated properly. Either they're not saying it, or you're not listening. Remember, you're still coming out of a painful cycle. The sun will shine again. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Queen of Pentacles reversed. Hmm. I see. That's shifty. I don't know, air signs, if you're the one trying to get the band-aid or if it's them. But somebody's like, no, I'm good on my own. And the other person's like, but I need you. I'm going to be clingy. smoke and mirrors, things not being said, things not being communicated, things being blown out of proportion. Something's coming to an end. There's going to be red flags raised. This is someone that returned to your life. And all was well and good. And then things got stepped up. And maybe you're the one who made the offer. see it coming to a head this weekend. This moon card, maybe you finally seeing things the way they are. Your advice. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse and the Four of Cups in the reverse. If someone is being a little bit too impatient, be wary of what is in the cup. Red flags. Be wary of what is in the cup. Four of swords reversed and judgment reversed. Don't get all restless. Don't overthink this. Don't let this suck you back into that state of heartbreak. The sun will shine again. And ultimately, you're the one who's got to make the judgment call. That's what I have for you, air signs. Okay. Pretty short, sweet, and to the point, I think. Water signs. What's happening for my water sign friends this weekend?
trying to get that cancer energy out of there. I love you guys, but... Whew. Don't even get curious. You don't want to know. No. You don't want to know. We'll talk about it later when the energy is settled down. Okay. The Emperor and the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. Could be an Aries you're dealing with. Could be an Earth sign you're no longer trying to deal with. You could be losing patience with someone trying to rule over you this weekend. Or you're trying to take charge and losing patience with the other person. Okay. Take it however it resonates, guys. In the past, we have Nine of Pentacles in the reverse and the Sun in the reverse. Somebody was clingy. Somebody was codependent. Somebody was not happy. Oh, gee. Fast forward, the Four of Wands in the reverse, the Judgment in the reverse. Tower shaken. Things were not stable. Someone having to reverse a judgment call. This weekend, oh yes, the Hierophant in the reverse. The Queen of Pentacles in the upright. This is someone saying, enough is enough, I'm not dealing with this anymore. I'm not going through with this. I'm better on my own. I got enough of my own damn pentacles, I don't need yours. Yes, water sign friends. Whew. Wow, that's the breakup of an engagement. That's the breakup of a marriage. Hmm. Okay. I hate throwing that kind of energy out. But that's what I'm seeing. Somebody's saying enough is enough, I'm done. Why is the Hierophant reversed here? King of Swords. Logical, non-emotional decision-making. Possibly a little bit cold. This is the, this is not good for me and I know it, and I'm breaking away. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Seven of Wands, the person could potentially be a little bit combative about it. May try to continue to take charge. But I think ultimately you're going to take control back. Hmm. Okay. I like it. Water signs, I like it a lot. Let's get your advice. Six of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles. Oh, that's wonderful. Your advice is to seek something out that's a little bit more even and equal. Sorry, I just... My phone's being wonky. And sometimes my Google Assistant turns on and starts telling me stuff about what I say. Where were we? Seek out something that's a little bit more even and equal. And I think there's something new coming for you. It's going to be slow moving, but you need to seek out new things that are more abundant and better for you this weekend. Or let it come to you. Justice and the Empress, there again, seek out things that are more equal, more even, more fair, and have potential for growth. If you're not happy, and it's not stable, and it's getting ready to fall apart, and someone's being overbearing, don't be all about that. Equality is important in a relationship. 
Just saying. Just saying. Water signs is what I have for you. That was quick, easy, short, sweet, and to the point. I like it. Okay. Fire signs. What's coming in for my fire sign friends, brothers, and sisters? It's going to be a chilly one here this weekend. I kind of feel bad for anyone who's out and about, out camping and stuff. It, we got some hella wicked rain and some hella wicked heat earlier this week. It was in the 90s on Tuesday. It is now Friday and it's in the 50s here. I love Michigan weather. It's great. You don't like it? Wait five minutes and that's like a year-round thing. Mm. Knight of Swords reversed, Empress reversed. There's no communication. People have been blocked. Could be a disconnect in a family situation. Something, pardon me, isn't growing. Something isn't... In the past, we have a Ten of Wands and a High Priestess. A connection became burdensome. closed out, it was released, the, the connection just wasn't felt as strongly by both parties. Someone possibly a little bit egotistical. Take it or leave it. The Six of Swords reversed and the Seven of Pentacles in the upright. Fast forward a little bit. There was a return and you waited it out to see what was going to happen. This weekend, the Two of Swords and the Four of Swords. Someone has to make a painful decision, take that blindfold off, figure some shit out, and lay something to rest. Can I get some clarity on this Two of Swords, please? Hey, Ten of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles reversed. More of this fair and un unfair and unequal energy. Okay, for those of you who going through this part. This may not resonate with everyone. It's a choice between the, the abundance and, and the financial dream and the being taken care of. Or the things forever being unfair and unequal. Wow, that's loaded. That's loaded, my fire sign friends. Wow. Wow. Why is the Four of Swords here? The Page of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles reversed. Wow. Exactly as it popped in my head verbatim. They can tell you all day long they love you. But if they make you feel like garbage at the end of the day, if they suck your self-worth, wow. Wow. That's loaded. 
my fire sign friends, that is very loaded. Right, let's get your advice. The Hermit in the Moon. It may be time to go inside and figure some things out. And find that inner light of introspection. Because things are not as they seem. Things are not as they appear. Things are not properly illuminated right now. The Wheel of Fortune in the upright and the Three of Cups in the reverse. It may be time to finally close something out and disconnect. There could possibly be a third party involved. That does not mean someone is cheating. That could just mean that someone is just sticking their nose in where it does not belong. One more. Judgment in the upright page of wands in the reverse. It may be time for a judgment call and forward movement, the things that you are passionate about and things that you want. But I think a conversation needs to happen because it hasn't happened. Okay. Fire signs? Wow. Wow. All I can say is wow. Earth signs. This is just not working out like I thought it was going to. That's a little better. Always oh, gonna lead the pack, don't you? There. All right. What's in store for my Earth sign friends this weekend? Just fall right down, why don't you? That was cute. Well, at least your pentacle's still sticking up. The Four of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. Someone has been holding on to something and everything is about to come crashing down. Doors slamming, unsteady foundations. In the past, we have a moon reversed and temperance reversed. Perhaps some things came to light and were illuminated and caused negative energy flow. It might be a Sagittarius you're dealing with. Could have been a Pisces. Maybe Earth sign, maybe another fire sign. Fast forward a little strength and the Prince of Pentacles reverse. Could be a Leo, could be an Earth sign. You had to gather up some strength. You had to learn, you lo learn to love and trust yourself again.
things came screeching to a halt. Offers got revoked from the table. It's coming in for this weekend. Oh my. Nine of Pentacles in the reverse and Lovers in the upright. I love you, I want you, I need you, I want you back. I was wrong, I'm sorry. I see how this went. I see how this is going to go. Why is the Nine of Pentacles reversed here? Three of Cups. Someone wants to reunite. <laughs> it is swords in the reverse. They may admit to overthinking a few things or taking some things the wrong way. They're, but they may say they're coming out of that state of being all wrapped up in it. They want to reunite. They miss you. They want you back. They want your pentacles back. They need you. Why is the lovers here? The Prince of Cups. I love it when he comes out. Coming back in with that cup of love after they walked. But it's a mutually acknowledged connection. One more. Nine of Wands in the reverse. The walls are tumbling down. They're vulnerable. I think someone held on to emotions here. And it caused things to be unsteady and unstable. Caused negative energy flow. Things being found out. You had to learn to love and trust yourself again. Pulled an offer off the table. Now they want you back. I don't know for how long, but I see some walls tumbling down. Let's get your advice, Earth signs. The six of pen. Uh, sorry, six of cups reversed and the hermit reversed. Okay. There may be some negative emotions associated with this. Don't go into total hermit mode. Don't completely ignore how this made you feel. Don't self-isolate. Ten of Wands in the upright and the Six of Wands in the reverse. This is a cycle that needs to be closed out. This is a burden that needs to be released. Even if you come out so not victorious at the end of the battle. One more. The Fool reversed and the Chariot reversed. If you're thinking about closing this gap and allowing this return to happen, I want you to think before you jump. Ask yourself, why are they returning? 
Don't allow those walls to come down so far that you miss a red flag. Okay. First sign, my friends. This is what I have for you guys this weekend. You guys have been great. Thank you so much for stopping by. Be blessed. And I will see everybody on Sunday night or Monday morning for the... Where'd it go? Work week top and bottom. And over the weekend, I will attempt to knock out the second half of June by the end of the day on Monday. We'll see what happens. It might end up being Tuesday morning. See how my weekend goes. But I love you guys. Be blessed. Have a good weekend. See you Monday.